Hello everybody, today I want to talk about the Apentis cartridges from Mosu Inc. These allow you to use your tattoo machine to make art on paper. A big thanks to Mosu Inc. for sending these out for a review, but even though these were sent to me, I will be giving my honest opinion, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you do decide to order some of these for yourself, you can use my code tattoosbytyler underscore st to save some money. I will leave the link for the website and the code down in the video description. They're marketed as something that people can use for muscle memory for pendulum shading, whip shading, whatever you want to call it. Just that whipping motion back and forth. There's a ballpoint pen inside of the cartridge where you would normally see your needle grouping set up in. Even though it's a ballpoint pen, it has the same exact mechanics. They come in five different colors, blue, red, green, pink, and black. Even though these are advertised for beginners to learn, I think that seasoned, experienced tattoo artists will get a lot of enjoyment out of them. My personal favorite way to make art is with a tattoo machine with needles on skin. Skin. I really enjoy the textures that I can get in my artwork just because of the way that the tattoo machine runs. Now, it's really difficult to replicate that on paper if I'm just using a pen or a pencil, but with these, I can get that same textured result just on paper. And not only that, it's kind of more of an enjoyable experience for me because I'm just making art without the pressure of worrying about if the tattoo is perfect for my client. Now, when it comes to using these to learn how to tattoo, these can be helpful in a way just because you're learning how to manage the weight of the tattoo machine on the back of your hand, which I think is a really big thing that threw me off when I started learning to tattoo. So it's kind of a nice way for beginners to get their head around what the machine weight will feel like when they're trying to make their art with it. Now, when it comes to pressure translating from paper going over to the skin, this is going to feel totally different. So you're definitely not going to be learning in a constructive way when it comes to that. I think for the beginner, these are good for just understanding how the machine will feel on the back of your hand. I made two different artworks to test these out. The first one was a gas mask, which I actually ended up giving away on TikTok Live. And then the second one is this Mario, Luigi, and Toad artwork that I made in front of Peach's castle. I made this one on TikTok Live as well, but I wanted to keep this one. Now, while I was on TikTok Live, I got a lot of the same questions, so I'm gonna answer those commonly asked questions here for you now. The number one commonly asked question was, aren't you ripping the paper? And the answer is no. Uh, it just kind of changes the texture of the paper a little bit, and it kind of makes it a little bit wavy. Um, even though you do have to go over the same spot over and over to build up your gradients, I never got a rip in the paper. The next commonly asked question was, why are you wearing gloves? You're not tattooing anybody. And the simple answer is, I just have a habit anytime I touch a tattoo machine or any of my tattoo equipment, I put on my gloves. I think it's important to have good habits, but also I thought it might kind of help me not smear the ink on the paper. So yeah, in short, that's why. The next most commonly asked question was, won't that ruin the tattoo machine motor? And the answer is yes, I think it might. The hit on the countertop, even though I put a piece of cardboard underneath the piece of paper, is very aggressive and it is very hard on the motor, I think. So I wouldn't use one of your very expensive tattoo machines on this. I'd recommend going to like eBay or Amazon and just buying one of those really cheap machines that you can find for like 20 or $30. And if it breaks, it breaks, who cares? The next question everybody was asking is how much are these? So for a box of 20 of these, it is $39.99. They come in the same type of packaging that cartridge needles come in, but these are reusable unlike regular needles. And then the follow-up to that question always was how long do these last? So I use these five uh, cartridges the whole time and I use them for hours. The only one that I had to replace was the black one just because I used it the most, but that was at the very end. So I think overall it was like four or five hours that I used these and they still didn't run out. Now a lot of people are saying, oh, that's a waste of money. You can just make that yourself. And yes, that is true. You can make something like this yourself. I made a video about this about a year ago. I took this like $12 Amazon tattoo machine and I attached a ballpoint pen to it. But for the convenience of all the different colors that you get and also if you run out of ink, you just have to swap out the cartridge. I think it is worth just spending the extra couple bucks. I wouldn't mind. But if you just want to make a homemade one, this totally works too, just the same. And for anybody that's about to make a comment, oh, you're not wearing gloves and you just talked about wearing gloves while you're touching tattoo machines. I bought this machine specifically for this project. This was never used for tattooing anybody, nor will it ever be. So, ha! And lastly, one of the most common questions was, why aren't you just pulling clean lines with them and why are you doing more of a pendulum motion while you're doing your lines? And the answer is, since the hit was very aggressive on the machine, it seemed like the ballpoint pen was kind of jumping around and giving me inconsistencies in my lines. So it just didn't look really good um, because it is really difficult 
with that really hard hit with the countertop below the paper. But then also on the other side of it, I do just really like the way that this looks with the sketched in type of lines. I just like the sketchy type of look. So, I mean, you can pull lines with them. It's just not the most comfortable experience. So overall, I give the Apentis cartridges two thumbs up for what they are. I think they're a really cool idea and not only for learning, but for experienced artists, I think it's just a really nice way to be creative on paper with my favorite way to be creative, which is with a tattoo machine. But either way, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope that you have a good day.